Okay, so within Moodle, there are two ways you can do this. You can see here I've actually got some equations um, within Moodle. So first create your page. Uh, it does seem to be a little bit buggy, so make sure you first created your page. And that is kind of what it, what it looks like if you do it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you how to do it. The one thing you can do is if you've got your image, right, um, if you've got that equation as an image and you save it as an image, you can then insert it. Okay, equation one. Um, and here it is inserted as an image. So you might find it's actually quicker for you to be inserting things as image. However, there is a text, there is an equation editor built into Moodle. In order to activate it, you need to first click this button over here, the show or hide advanced buttons, right? And this will give you your equation editor. And the equation editor is what you use. So I'm going to show you quickly how to do your first one. The first one was the fraction. So you would type x is equal to. And then we click advanced. And here you can see you've got a whole bunch of operators that you can use. So you're wanting this fraction one over here. And then for the a you would say five, and then underneath it, you would say two T. Okay. Um, and it seems like the equation preview doesn't always work. I don't know why that is the case. Um, maybe it's better on your side, but you can see it's done the fraction with the five on top. And I know I've got my 2t at the bottom. In order to see it properly, we go save. You will notice that it shows it in its code form. Okay, so let me just put it onto a new line so you can see. So in order to see what that would look like, you would have to go save and display. And there we go. There it's gone and shown 5 over 2t. So if we wanted to add this more complicated equation over here, let's go back to editing the page. Okay. So we go back to our equation editor. You can see the calculator over there. If it's not appearing, make sure you've got your show hide more buttons. So we click that, it will open it up and we can say X is equal x is equal to, go back to our advanced, okay, advanced, and we want this fraction one over here. At the bottom, where b plus c is, we want 2a, and the top, where we've got a is now, it's starting to become a little bit more complicated. So we want minus b, Plus or minus, so we go back to our operators, there's the plus or minus, okay. And now we want the square root, so we go back to the advance, there's my square root over there. Um, you don't, there we go, so there you can see it's actually shown it now. Minus b, plus or minus, the square root, and it's got... Um, a and then B plus C. So in your equation, you don't want the A, so we can go and delete the A. But the B plus C is going to be B squared. To do it to the power 2, it's your little kappa key. B kappa key 2, and that's going to make it to B squared. And then we do minus 4AC. Oops. Sorry, B kappa key 2 minus 4AC. And there you can see it's still busy updating. 
<laughs> but it's gone and done the B squared. B kappa key 2. Okay, My, and if we had to go and save this equation now, and save and display, there we can see there's the minus B plus or minus the B squared minus the 4AC or divided by 2A. To edit it again, you'll go to edit your settings, go to the content, this is it over here. You can select the whole one and then click again on your equation editor and it will open up the equation editor in a pop-up menu over there. Okay, I must say I don't know why this equation preview isn't working live on your, on your um, platform. It, it is a little bit confusing. If you want to see where I was working, let me just save and return to course. So I had put these fractions underneath your mathematics course under unit 23, trigonometry, 3. Okay, so that is where it's sitting, unit 23, trigonometry 3, there's the equations. And if they clicked on it, this, uh, this is how it would display. As I say, you might find it it's simpler to um, in the short term to just be copying and pasting your images in, but Moodle does allow you to use the equation editor to type it out. There is quite a lot of, um, if we have a look at the Moodle site as well, there is quite a lot in terms of using the text X notation, if you wanted to know it in a bit more detail. Um, so for example, to do the square root, I just went over here and I saw that to do it, it is for kappa key 2. Um, you could also search YouTube. Okay, you could search YouTube for this. I think there are quite a lot of YouTube videos on it. Um, I, did, I did have a look at one. Um, here we go. If you had to go and search the Moodle equation editor. And this is just showing you, again, how you use that um, equation editor, the advanced one, and you can see that looks familiar. I hope that helps. Thanks very much. Bye.